It's the Summit Tree Stands group that brings you Montana Fouts with us each week, a leading manufacturer of premium quality, high performance tree stands, safety harnesses, and tree accessories. Yeah, tree stand accessories. You can find out more at summitstands.com. That is summitstands.com. And Montana's helping you save 14% off all tree stand orders with code Montana14. That is Montana14. She is with us now on the johnstonrvcenter.com hotline. Practice is mere moments away. What's up, Montana? How are you? Good. How are y'all doing? Doing great. Um, I didn't know we were betting on this, but are you, in fact, at the Alabama team facility right now? I am. We've got road uh, up. There you go. Right there. I'm sitting. They have a little blocked off section here for some reason, so I'm feeling kind of fancy this morning sitting in a blocked off section of the roads, but I'm here. That's yeah. the premium seating. Montana's got premium uh, uh, Actually, I think that's for the uh, media, so oh, that's probably my boo. seat for this upcoming weekend, so it should be <laughs> should be exciting. Hey, I, I got to ask you, though. You, um, you, We've talked about the journey for this team and everything. Um, it was a one and done at the SEC tournament, not what you were looking for when you got there. As a team leader, are, do you guys, do you vocalize disappointment or do you try to keep it positive? Are you trying to keep it loose? How do you attack it psychologically going now into must win situations? Yeah, of course it's, it's disappointing because we know what we're capable of, but I think it's more of we're running our own race and everything. It's happening for a reason, and it's better to experience that kind of failure and know what that's like before the, the last game that you play. So from experience, you know, I would much rather win the national championship any day of the week. So I think just experiencing what it takes, especially in high-pressure high situations, I think is good because we have a really young team. So for the selection show on Sunday night, Murph gave you guys some, some black shirts that said Punkman 96. Uh, tell us the story behind that. So I guess it's just, it's a YouTube video. I'll have to send this to you guys another time, but it's basically just saying that so everybody else's opinions like on social media or even like negative opinions that people say of you, they don't really matter. And it's what you think about yourself and how we think about each other as a team is kind of us against everybody. Did you, Montana Fouts is with us, johnstonrvcenter.com hotline. And she's presented by Summit Tree Stands, summitstands.com. And code Montana14 to help you save. Summitstands.com. Save 14% on those tree stand orders. Did you guys, was a six seed a surprise after leaving the tournament a little bit earlier? Is that about where you thought you would be? Yeah, you know, we were definitely hoping to be in the top eight, but every little thing can go into the seeding like that. Because my freshman year, you know, we got the eight seed after like a really good whole season so that was kind of surprising and last year we finished strong and got the three so you know it just depends on how everybody else around you is doing too so you know we're we're definitely happily surprised uh, going back to the youtube video do you do you see negative comments on social media because i'll give you an example i, I don't know how many tweets i send out about alabama softball during the course of the season but i tweeted after the loss uh and that the selection show was coming up sunday and i tagged you in it and then every comment afterwards was a negative comment about uh, the team's not hitting right now. They've got to do better offensively. And I was like, boy, you know you're, you're a popular sport when you get negative comments like that. That that's, sort of legitimizes what you guys have done over 26 teams over there. Yeah, you know, I mean, I feel like the definitely the older that I'm getting and the more that I'm playing the game, I just realize that people like the Punk Man 90, or 96 on Twitter, you know, has – he's not at the field right now or she's not at the field putting the work in. So honestly, I think that our team's kind of getting to the point. We don't, we don't care really what they say just because they're not the ones doing it. So, I mean, I, sometimes you see them like, so you can turn them off. So I think that's good, especially this time of year, just because, you know, it's probably good not to be on social media anyway, let alone seeing negative comments, it's, you know, I would, cause they're not going to be posting negative comments after you win. So well, you know, Dunaway brought up the struggles of the offense. So less than three runs per game over your final 10 games. Does that put more pressure on you when you take the ball out there to know that you've, I mean, the way this offense is struggling? I mean, you know, I, I trust him and I know that they'll, they'll come through in the big moments. And, you know, I think that we've had to lose every game that we've lost for a reason. So I wouldn't say pressure. I heard this quote the other day that we actually wrote on the board, but pressure, pressure is what you feel when you don't know what you're doing. So, you know, I, I'm confident in myself and my defense, and they'll score the runs when they need to. 
Dagger Murph's got some good sayings, doesn't he? I <laughs> he like does. that one. I like that one. Uh, Say that, it again. That one gave me chills, yeah. man. But pressure is what? Say it again for us. Pressure is what you feel when you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, I yeah. like that. That makes sense, too. Montana, of course it does. Montana Founts on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline presented by Summit Tree Stands. So, like, when you get in the conference tournament, you're facing players you have seen year, or not the conference tournament, the conference schedule, year after year after year. And now it resets to teams you may have never faced, like Stanford and Chattanooga and Murray State. So, how much film work have you had to do on an entire new set of players that you may have never even faced? It's definitely a lot more. Just like, for example, we played Missouri last the fall one weekend and then four days later we play him again so of course you're still watching film but you already know the players by name you already know like their tendencies somewhat and so it's definitely completely different but it's nice because in the sec i feel like we're scouting each other from day one just because and we're also watching each other on tv and we're kind of we watch every game we play so i think it's nice but also they've beaten some great teams all three teams coming in here this weekend so we definitely got to be watching our film and practicing for that uh, you know it's postseason because you've gotten serious softball questions That's right. from everybody on the table yeah. all the way through. Let me be the first one to go non-softball here. Okay. Uh, we did a story last week on the pilot on a small plane uh, having a medical emergency and somebody had to step up and land the plane. It was all successful and everything. We do a segment called Trash on the Table. It was in that segment. Uh, if you're on a plane with your team and it's a pilot in your team and the pilot goes down, Who's landing the plane? Does Montana Fouts take it? Do you say Bailey get up there? Is it Shipman? Who 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 lands the plane for you guys? I would say here's how this would happen. Definitely Kaylee Tao is landing the plane. Okay. okay. And then I would be right beside of her trying to put my two cents in for <laughs> sure. But she's so smart and I feel like I would trust her just with my entire life. So I, I definitely her, but I would be up there. That's yeah. for sure. Uh, Kaylee, remember pressure is what you feel when you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Which is happening would, right now. She would take advantage of this opportunity. Trust me. She'd be like, no, I've got this. She'd be so calm. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So I'll, I'll follow without a, another softball question. Best thing Dixie ate this past weekend. Ground beef yesterday. I made lasagna and I had some extra and I was like, I looked it up first. I was like, is it okay for dogs to have this kind of stuff? And of course I cooked it and everything. So she's got skillet ground beef yesterday for dinner. <laughs> Do you go heavy ricotta cheese? Cause that's the one that I love lasagna, but I don't like it when it's heavy ricotta. Do you go with a lot of ricotta cheese in yours? I would say I, I'm trying to follow my mom's recipe and hers is definitely better than mine, but I think I used a little bit too much cheese yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I think that's where you can go wrong. Yeah, I think that's where you can go wrong is too much ricotta. I don't know uh, if you guys like a lot of ricotta. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever heard the phrase too much cheese. I no, think no, cheese but this is, is not real cheese. This is ricotta cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, I think that's where you can mess up there. But boy, lasagna is a pain to make. I, I grew hey, I grew up in a trailer in Alabaster, Montana, which is, you know, it's it's a. Uh, it was I, it was hamburger helper lasagna for me. I didn't even have la, real lasagna. It was powdered cheese for me. Poor guy. That's oh. so sad. That's the <laughs> first time he's ever mentioned that, too. Yeah. Uh, All right. Uh, so <laughs> Alabama softball. We didn't have tree stands. Yeah, we had to climb yeah, into a tree yeah. and sit and not try to hunt. Three o'clock SEC network. Is that central time, Montana? Am I giving the right time there? Surely she knows. Yes, central time. All right. Yeah, three o'clock central SEC network. I want to make sure I was giving the right time. Alabama Chattanooga to start it off over in the Tuscaloosa Regional. It is, of course, double elimination. Murph tells her not to look at the clock. I know. It doesn't matter. You be there when we say be there. It is also uh, a hard sellout, so tickets on the secondary market there if you would like to go watch this. Montana, best of luck to you. We thank Summit Tree Stands for bringing you Montana. They are carefully engineered to be the most silent, secure, comfortable, and safest tree stands available. Montana 14 is the code to use. 14% off all tree stands at summitstands.com. That's summitstands.com. Best of luck. We'll talk to you next week, Montana. Thank you. Thank you all. All right. Take care. Montana Fouts on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. Summitstands.com. Use code Montana 14 to save 14% off all tree stands. 